Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. you how to take ginger snap cookies and make a great meatloaf for the holidays up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2014. Welcome back. Making my ginger snap meatloaf is great for the holidays. It really has a great spice and it certainly makes you remember the time of the season in it sounds unusual, and it is unusual, but people will be like, Wow, how did you make it taste like this? Well, this is how you do it. I've got a skillet pan that I've cooked up some bacon, and I've left the grease in there. I know that's bad for you, but it's the holidays, and you can splurge a little. And it's about four pieces of bacon, four or five you can use. And I've cooked it up till it's kind of crispy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about 3 4 teaspoon. This is chipotle peppers that are dried and you don't want to use a chili powder because it all works together and this tastes the best. So let's go ahead and add that to that mixture there. About 3 4 teaspoon there. Give or take a little bit depending on your taste. Now I'm going to add one cup of coarsely chopped um, white onion right on into the mixture. This is a half cup of celery goes right on in there and this is one cup of red pepper all chopped up. Now I'm going to put this up on the stove top and cook it for about seven or eight more minutes till it's kind of cooked down a little bit and we're going to get the meat mixture together too. So let me go get this started. Welcome back. I've got two pounds of ground beef here. What I'm going to do is add one and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, well, however you say that stuff, um, to this mixture. And I just kind of estimate it right on into the mixture, just like that. Next, I'm going to add about one teaspoon of salt right on into the mixture. And you can kind of edit this if this happens to be your malady or problem around the holiday if you can't have salt or sugar or anything like that yet. Now, I need two eggs into the yes, so I'm just going to break two eggs and try not to get the shell in there. And let's go ahead and put the other egg on into the mixture here. And now I've got, this is actually ginger snap cookies. And we use this with the side dish, the lima beans that we did not long ago. This is a half cup all chopped up. That goes right on in there, and that gives it a little kick. Now, I've got some fresh basil, and this really kicks it up a little bit. You could use some fresh oregano, but this is what we're using today. It's probably about one-fourth cup, but it really does liven things up. Now, I've got ketchup, and that's always the best part of meatloaf, in my opinion. And I've got one-fourth cup of ketchup. That goes right on into the mixture, just like that. And I'm going to use about a half a teaspoon of pepper, maybe just a little bit more, depending on your taste. Just like that. And I like to use these food service gloves because I don't like touching ground beef. I don't know about you, but it, I like to just mix it around with my hands. And I use these, and we're going to mix it around a little bit and get things moving and make our meatloaf mixture. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. I think. Okay, now we have the best part, the bacon and the onions and the peppers. We're just going to add that to the meatloaf mixture. And this really, wow, this tastes so good on its own. It reminds me of some kind of sub sandwich. But we're going to mix this on in so we can complete our meatloaf so we can pop it in the oven and it'll be ready in no time. Okay, I've got a baking pan here and you can use any kind that you like. 
and you can make two meatloaves or one big meatloaf or you could freeze some of the mixture as a meatloaf and fix it later on. But I just like to start taking some and you're putting it right there in the middle and making one big meatloaf because I like to have some for dinner and like making it as a sandwich later on is one of my other favorite things. And But you don't want to make it too thick because then it doesn't cook as fast. And let's just get some of that meat mixture and form the meatloaf. There we go. Look how pretty that is. Red and green. It looks like Christmas already. Look at that with the basil. Now I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I expect this to take about an hour or so or maybe a little bit more. Sometimes people like cook it for like 40 minutes. I don't know how they do that. I like to cook it until it's well done. There we go. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. I like to cook it for at least 40 minutes and then I squirt some ketchup up on top of it to make it look real pretty. So there we go, we've got our meatloaf. We're gonna pop it in the oven, so set your timer for a while, and then squirt it with some ketchup and cook it some more. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. And there you have it, my ginger snap meatloaf. Now I know y'all are shaking your head going, that I don't even know what you all are thinking because that sounds unusual putting cookies and meatloaf and it is, but it has some great spices that go into the beef that really, you know, we use the red pepper and the onions and the other spices and it really all goes together and makes a great holiday meatloaf that your family will really love and I'm tired of talking about it. I'm just going to go ahead and taste it so you all know that it's okay and we look at the basil in it and it smells so good. Mmm. That is really good. Taste that flavor. And it doesn't taste like there's cookies in it. It just has a vibrant taste to it with the peppers and the onions. And it's got kind of like a sweet taste to it, too, that really goes with it with the ketchup kind of marinade with it. And that's a with the basil too wow that's a good meatloaf you should try it i hope you get a chance to make my ginger snap meatloaf and if you do send me pictures at jolene sugarbaker at gmail.com don't forget to follow the trailer park on twitter i'm jolene's trailer there follow me on facebook i'm jolene sugarbaker there and of course add me on google plus i'm there too Download the calendar at TrailerParkChristmas2014.com so you can follow along because there's a video every day until the 25th. I'm so excited to spend the holidays with you the Trailer Park way, and I'm so excited to hear from you too. Leave a comment down at the bottom too so I know that you stopped by. I love you all, and Merry Trailer Park Christmas. I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.